Um, about 23, 24 years, so quite a long time. Um, because there's no right answers. Students can argue one point of view um, and it could be amazing and they can get an A and then the next lesson the student can argue the absolute opposite um, and still get a grade A in that. I think students are really nice, really friendly. Um, they have a nice um, sort of like casual but actually hard-working ethic. I think the staff are really supportive of one another and I think it's really nice to be able to build um, a good atmosphere within the class where students are free to talk, share their ideas and um, you know we can all explore the, the, um, the topics together. All students, regardless of their pathway, will start off by doing philosophy um, and mostly that's evolved around looking at um, questions about the existence of God. So does God exist? Does he not exist? Um, after that then, or alongside that, we also look at, all students will look at ethics. So how do we determine right from wrong and various different theories about how to behave and then they also apply it to practical ethics, looking at issues like, for example, euthanasia and sexual ethics. After that, students would choose a pathway that they would like to do. Either they go down the Buddhism pathway, um, in which case they would be studying um, key concepts in Buddhism, or they would be studying the Christianity pathway. Um, both of them actually study very similar ideas with each other. So in both, you'd be looking at key beliefs, key figures, how the theory is developed over time, challenges of secularism, how women are treated. But you'd either be looking at it through the um, framework of Christianity, if you chose that pathway, or you'd be looking at Buddhist beliefs, Buddhist teachings, how Buddhism is developed, if you choose that pathway. Yep, so in philosophy it's always assessed by um, exams that happen at the end of the second year. Um, so most philosophy students will go on to study um, at university. Um, philosophy is recognised as being good for many humanities subjects, but it's regarded to be particularly good for subjects such as history, um, philosophy, theology, um, education, English literature as well. It's one of the many degrees that many students might go on to do. Um, but if they choose not to go on to university, then it leads you into a wide range of careers. Um, and I've had students in the past who've gone on to become accountants, um, bank managers, um, all sorts working in law, um, a wide, wide range of careers they've gone into. Yes, yeah, so um, we're really much hoping that um, this year we're going to be putting on a trip so that when students, particularly in the Buddhism pathway, um, study meditation, we're going to try and take them to a Vihara and have a go at practicing some Buddhist meditation and meet some Buddhist monks. In the longer term, we are certainly hope planning and hoping to try and get some trips abroad, maybe perhaps for Christianity to go and explore Rome um, and the idea of Christianity and maybe a bit further afield for Buddhism if we can get there. Um, I'd say philosophy is really good for students who like to think, don't like to have necessarily the right answers, but like to be able to discuss and debate. Um, there's also an awful lot of written work, so I'd say somebody who's good at talking, listening, sharing ideas, but also somebody who doesn't mind doing the reading as well. <laughs>